Hello folks, how are you all doing? All right, confession, today is not Sunday, it is in fact Monday. And my goal today is to not cry. <laughs> it's been a very long couple days. But let's jump into this video and I'll tell you more. So as you may or may not know, my name is Esalawayi. I am a first time mom, I am also a teacher, and I'm also trying to get my YouTube channel going, and school is back in session now, and my son is student, <laughs> so trying to teach long distance, and raise a one year old, and be a YouTuber, as taking its toll on me, and I miss just this video, and I'm very sorry. Um, and then I lost my voice because my son and I did not sleep for the last couple of days due to growing pains. So, here I am today. I'm going to keep it as short as possible. Um, this is technically my lunch time. <laughs> and my husband will be home soon. So I need to make his lunch, make my lunch because he's not on keto, I'm on keto. And then we have a little guy who we try to figure out. <laughs> So today's video is going to be pretty short. Thank you for bearing with me. Today's segment is Esther Ministers and in Esther Ministers, which is one of my three segments, we talk about how much God loves you and how you can be the best blessed and blessed who you are because mm -hmm. as we all know, say with me, you're a spirit, you have a soul and you live in a body and it is my job to enrich all three of them. Okay, so today we are going to jump into John chapter 15 verse 8. Okay, so today's verse is short and Perfect. I love it so much because it's gonna lead to your homework. I'm a teacher. It's my second one giving you in eight weeks, so you're fine. You can do it. I think you'll enjoy it. So watch to the very end to watch to figure out what that homework is. Don't skip. That's it. God has a lot for you. I don't know why I'm whispering. By the way, you know this when I'm super tired, I get extra hyper. So let's cut the chit chat and get into this message so i hope you have a bible ready before we read our bible like we always do let's pray dear heavenly father thank you so much for being an awesome god thank you for being a fantastic god thank you for being up this morning thank you for what you have for us we are here we are listening we are ready glory be to your name O oh lord in jesus name amen okay give me a second so today's verse is John chapter 15 verse 8. Read it with me as I display on the screen. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. One more time. This is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. Alright, so of course we already know this, watch other videos. Jesus is the one talking here. And Talk about how we're branches and we're bearing, remember we're carrying, not giving birth to the fruit because that's the job of the vine. God is not pushing us to like, oh, bear this fruit. You know, he's like, no, just bear the fruit, carry the fruit. Okay, so question. Sometimes do you feel like, why am I doing this? Why am I a Christian? Do I really want to bear this fruit? Do I really want to carry this body? Because sometimes it does feel like that. Let's be honest. You know, Christianity is not meant to be like, oh, super Christian, you know, uh, the person who's able to do everything. That is not what Christianity is about. I know it's been ingrained in us. Sometimes that's how it should be. But trust me, that's not what God wants from you. But we do feel that way. Like, do I really want to continue bearing this? Sometimes we witness to people and they make us feel like, we're idiots, you know, and as things are getting progressively more difficult in life, a lot of Christians are getting attacked um, in their workplaces and then people are saying, oh, it's okay because we're just telling you not to change me. When you feel that way, you might want to ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I even a Christian? Why am I bearing the fruit? Can I just simply, you know, be uh, okay christian do i have to devote my life to it why am i doing it the answer is the only remnant that god has for me to give to you today but it is so deep you are are you ready 
for the Father's glory. Who is the Father? Yahweh. Papa Yahweh, he is the Father. The whole purpose of us showing that we are disciples of Christ, which is a disciplined life, right? A disciple is one who is disciplined in a way of living, right? And the whole reason why we keep staying in God and remaining in the vine and bearing the fruit is for one purpose, for the Father's glory. If I'm wondering, is it worth it? Yes. Let me tell you why. Now, the reason is simple. One verse tells us why it's important. Actually, that's not true. Many verses tell us why it's important. But my favorite verse in the Bible, so I'm going to use to explain to you why, I'm going to tell you, no matter how hard life gets, no matter how bad things get, it is worth bearing the fruit staying as God's disciples for the sake of the Father's glory. Are you ready? I love this verse so much, I want to learn it in every single language possible. So if you know this verse in a different language from the one I'm about to say, then please write in the comment below and I will memorize it. I want to do like an entire video of me saying this verse in as many languages as possible because it's so powerful to me personally my mom is gonna be laughing at this because she knows if mom is watching this right now she knows that you want exactly what i'm about to say and all my family members to me the entire bible the entire gospel not just bible the entire gospel the whole purpose of christ coming to earth is written in this one verse are you ready romans chapter 8 verse 18 i'm gonna say it in spanish and then in english do i speak spanish no do i love this verse enough that i learned it in a language i don't know yes are you ready I might butcher this, but my soul knows what I'm saying and the Spirit of God knows what I'm saying. So I'm sorry to my dear Spanish speakers. I'm not trying to butcher this, but I love it so much. I have to say it in Spanish. Are you ready? De hecho, considero que en nada se comparan los sufrimientos actuales de gloria que habrá de revelas en nosotros. In other words, consider this. That there is nothing compared to the glory that will be revealed in us in other words it's worth it it is so worth it my dear whatever it is that you're going through whatever it is that you feel like it's making christianity so hard for you wherever you are in the world maybe your suffering is a lot harder than mine i'm not saying that you're not suffering i'm not saying that i understand what you're going through but what i want to say is this Consider this, in the large scale of eternity, nothing is compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. You know the glory that has God, that God has, the glory that makes God God? Not only will He reveal it in us, He will share it with you. You know the verse that say God does not share His glory with anybody? It's true. But at the end of this age, at the end of this life, that glory that he would not share with anybody will be shared and revealed in him. He is worth it. It is worth it. Keep fighting the good fight. Stay in the faith. Remember who you are in Christ. Remember that God is not forcing you to, to birth out this fruit. Simply to carry the fruit that he's born in us. That he has born in us. Carry it. Bear that fruit with joy and gratitude because the hecho consider que en nada se comparan los sufrimientos i know the suffering is great but actualis the gloria that will be revealed in us it's coming and you will be glad that you are faithful as a disciple of christ all right i love you all the only rema is all that there is the only rema there Today is the most powerful rhema I've ever received from the Lord. And that is, for the glory of God, the Christian race is worth it. I love y'all. Bye. You thought I forgot your homework, didn't you? Well, I did not. All right, here we go. Your homework is simple. Choose either John chapter 8, I mean, John chapter 15, verse 8 to memorize, or Romans chapter 8 verse 18 to memorize if you choose to memorize Romans chapter 8 verse 18 and you speak a different language or like more than one language try to memorize it in the two languages i'm gonna call that extra credit from the lord <laughs>
So the more we spend time in God's presence, the more like him we become, which is fantastic. I mean, that's the whole purpose of us being here, right? To bring others to Christ by being more like him. All right, I'm done talking. That is a homework. Memorize John chapter 15, verse 8. Or John chapter 8. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. John chapter 15, verse 8. Or Romans chapter 8, verse 18. In as many languages as you can. And please don't forget, please, 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 please write below different verses of John chapter Romans chapter 8 verse 18 for me so I can memorize them. I love that verse so much. All right, y'all. Love you. Bye. De hecho, considero que nada se comparan los sufrimientos actuales de Gloria de Habra. Nope, I said it wrong. De hecho, considero que nada se comparan los sufrimientos actuales de Gloria de Habra de Habra en Jesús. Okay, you ready? Hello folks, how are you doing? My name is Estola Wee. The topic we're going to treat today is a sensitive one. And since my video series is called Not About Me, you will not see my face for the rest of this video. Let's get Dreamy girl. Okay. <laughs> Y'all girl is a bit crazier than most. So today's video is gonna be very interesting, and I am using a brand new app for it. So I'm about to read it because I already did my homework, which is to memorize it. I shouldn't have to do that yet. I'm so tired, y'all.